Joining us now with more reaction to tonight's big breaking news, House Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy. Uh, well, first, let me get your reaction that we now have the Inspector General, uh, yeah, blowing the lid on the so-called whistleblower that ended up not being a whistleblower because this was secondhand information, and uh, also the revelations that there is no quid pro quo involved in this, but. This person had a political agenda. I'd like to know what the agenda was. I'd like to also know how did anybody get to listen in on a president's call to a foreign leader and leak it? And what foreign leader will ever trust talking to a president in the future? I don't know why the Democrats are excited, because first of all, they just made America weaker. It seems a lot similar to all those attacks they made on the president. Remember, Sean, they've been going after this president even before he was elected. Remember that text, don't worry, we have an insurance policy so he could never win? And now a whistleblower that didn't even hear the conversation? And what Nancy Pelosi did today was nothing. She did not bring an inquiry forward. What, if you want to know what Speaker Pelosi is going to do tomorrow, read what AOC tweets tonight. Because AOC tweeted over the weekend, Nancy Pelosi is now trying to appease the socialist wing of the party. What they're going to happen tomorrow, though, they're going to be embarrassed when these transcripts come out. And I hope the American public wakes up. Have we not learned what we just went through the last two years? Adam Schiff lying to the American public, saying he had proof more than circumstantial. This is stuff has to stop. It's making America weaker. I think you're right. And it's hurting the country. And but there's this other question here. Where did this information come from? Who was listening in on the president's phone calls? And if the president of the United States is being spied on from our own intelligence agencies, uh, isn't that problematic? Is there any foreign leader that will ever trust talking to a U.S. president in the future? No. Think after tomorrow. What world leader is going to have an honest conversation with the president of the United States? Because they know whatever they say could be leaked out only because where the Democrats want to go. It only makes the, whoever is president in the future weaker. That's why we have to have accountability. What, what has gone forward to this president can never happen again to anyone in the future. You know, it's funny. I agree with what you're saying, too. So it's an impeachment probe, but today really became uh, an official impeachment inquiry. No different it, than what they've been doing the last three years. But Nancy Pelosi, they can have a role, a call the role. Everybody would go on record, and I would like to see that vote happen. That would be nice to happen, but you know what vote has to happen? I don't think it will. Why, are, why aren't we investigating Joe Biden and Hunter Biden? Because I'll promise you this. Hunter Biden, if his name was Hunter Smith, no one would have hired him. He wouldn't have found a billion dollars in China, and an oligarch in Ukraine wouldn't be hiring him. But why do you have a vice president who's running for president, who's number one in the Democratic polls, bragging that he held Ukraine hostage to fire a prosecutor that was going to investigate his own son? Why isn't that anybody up in arms about that? And why is that not being investigated? Very well said. So the guy, he's making millions in Ukraine, no background in oil, energy or gas. Wow, pretty good gig. You know, obviously he's pretty well connected. Then he flies on Air Force Two to China. Amazing thing happens. He has no background at all in, in private equity. And the Chinese government company, yeah, they give him a, a billion dollar deal. Whitey Bulger's son is involved in that. There's a great, you know, there's a great indicator. Maybe things aren't great. And then it became a billion five. No background. I would think Goldman Sachs or or any yeah. of the big banks might be Somebody better contenders experience. for such a, a deal, considering they had no experience. But they weren't flying on Air Force Two, sitting right next to their father and walking off with the last name Biden. Correct. That's the difference. All right. Leader McCarthy, thank you. Tonight,